Hello students, today's quick tutorial is going to be about listing our item on eBay with pre-filled item information. Let's go ahead and open up a browser. I'm using Mozilla Firefox, but you know Internet Explorer, Google's Chrome or Safari would do. And we're going to go ahead and put sell an item. Start selling. First thing you ask for is a brief description of the item that you want to sell. I am selling a Finding Nemo DVD. Great, this is the category selection page. Now, they pulled up the correct category, which is going to be DVD, HD, DVD, or Blu ray. These are just movies. Now, in case it didn't, it gives you the option to browse for category or use recently uh, used categories just in case you're listing a lot of the same item. Now, be careful if you put the item in the wrong category there's a lot of views it will not get especially when people do category um, viewing by category categorical view um, compared to just searching with a uh, title or a keyword match so uh, look for items on eBay and look at the category those items are listed in if you can't get it to pull up with normal search let's continue Now let's enter the UPC of our item. Search. Great, it found our item. It is a Finding Nemo DVD. It found the correct store categories. It gave me this pre filled information, you know, the director when it was released, uh, UPC, and the rating of the DVD. And it also gives you a nice movie description as well as reviews and things of that sort. So that's information that I do not have to list in the description or the body part of your auction. This title is pathetic by my standards. Because people do exact match keyword, you need to put in the juicy keyword so people can find your item uh, instead of you know leaving potential buyers on other items. So let's go ahead and put in you know Walt Disney. Uh, let's see if collectors will fit. And it does. Um, hey, we even got enough space for Pixar. Great, we use almost all of our real estate, which this is critical because this right here is gold, and that's how most people find your auctions by the title. We don't need a subtitle, it's 50 cents, it's not worth it in this instance. I don't like the stock picture because I went ahead and shot a picture and I actually like that one a little bit more. Let's go ahead and add a picture. We're using a basic picture uploader script from eBay. Hit browse. There's our Finding Nemo DVD. And hit upload. There we go. There's that pretty picture we shot. Now, I went ahead and typed out a description so I'm just going to go ahead and paste it in there just for time sake. Um, let me change this to capitalized DVD. Just gives a physical description of the item because we have this wonderful pre-filled DVD information about you know who was a director and when it was released so we don't need to rehash that. Listing designer is to jazz up your auctions typically my store uses HTML templates with a bunch of pictures and define you know policies for returning our item and you know when we're we gonna ship it but for this tutorial um, we just don't seem it, uh, think it's necessary we're gonna use a basic visitor counter uh, we're gonna take their suggestion and we're gonna list around four bucks I like you know 397s, 87s and 98s and 99s so let's go ahead and list this 397 no buy now no reserve they cost money and I'm pretty sure that it will sell around eight dollars regardless I don't want to list the item right now uh, today because you get a little more traffic on Sunday and I want it to go for uh, as close to eight as possible uh, because we are you know on the East Coast but we're using pack time right here we're gonna go ahead and list it at 6 p.m. Pacific so it rolls back to about nine here uh, no donations um, I accept email no Skype 
and here's my PayPal information so if anybody wants to make a donation I'll gladly accept it for the time being we're accepting checks and money orders uh, but it's got to be a cashier's check of course uh, let's talk about some shipping media mail three bucks that's the max you can charge for you know whatever pack of material and label that goes uh, with it the buyer can pick it up for two bucks it's gonna take us about you know two days to get it out really about one but we're gonna leave ourselves a little time for uh, just in case we get backed up uh, we don't have any discounts or anything of that sort no international shipping the items locations in Macon Georgia that means we gotta charge 7% sales tax in Georgia and this seems adequate enough for the checkout instructions let's hit continue uh oh we forgot to add the insurance costs let's go ahead and scroll down hit change let's go ahead and put in a dollar seventy five that's about it for that cost for United States Postal Service media mail and we got that in and now we can hit continue we've made it to the listing review page this is when you can add some uh, nice little features to enhance your listings but you know it's a four dollar DVD uh, adding two dollars on bold or twenty five cents for a gift icon or fifty cents for a subtitle just wouldn't be worth it uh, people know what they're searching for in this case because it's a Disney DVD and they're pretty popular on eBay and people know what they're, they're looking for let's preview the listing as the way it will appear in the search results so this is when you know you're competing um, for space with all your other competitors so you know adding a bold adding a board it does make it stick out more but why pay you know so much and lose your profit margin for things that really won't make that big of a difference if you would like a kind of a bold feature the, the nice little cheat is put all your um, letters all your words in, in capital in the caps uh, it gives a nice little feature um, that's free and it makes it stick out a tad bit more as you see it's gonna cost me a quarter listed regardless if it sells free gallery picture because I only uploaded one picture every additional picture is about 15 cents right now and it's gonna cost me 10 cents to schedule it ignore that yeah we're storing that number gets high every once in a while uh, let's preview the listing and this is how it's gonna look actually when people click on our item there's us that number is going to be higher but not everybody is honest with us when they can sign an item so we get dinged every once in a while uh, but we do our best to make sure everything's listed correctly uh, this is our brief description uh, that's that pre-filled information there's more of our pre filled information and uh, there's our picture again so everything looks good let's go ahead and close this window and uh, let's list our item and there you go try not to run over this time try to keep it around 10 minutes and uh, if you have any questions go ahead and uh, leave us a comment on our blog or shoot us an email and uh, thanks and uh, to our next lesson I'll see you again